Hi, this is Larry, the old guy from Iowa. Um, I've got a recipe for brown chili, no tomato chili. I've looked for it all my life, and I found it a number of years ago, a lady in Florida, and I made it for years. I don't gonna have a video. I'm not gonna have a video making it, but um, I want to get the recipe to you, and you try it and let me know. I just love it. It's especially good with cheese melted on top and ate it on saltine crackers buttered saltine crackers it's perfect so here's the recipe i hope you can see it but you put it's kind of made differently you put a quart of water a quart on to boil and then you add a, a a medium onion finely diced and then you add about half to one teaspoon of finely diced uh, uh, garlic fresh garlic i like this because it's fresh onion and fresh garlic i like fresh ingredients and then you let that uh, boil for 10 minutes or so until the onion's tender. Then you add, now this is hard to find, but a quarter pound of uh, ground suet and two tablespoons of bacon grease. Uh, this is a little greasy, but you know, you don't eat chili all that often and you only eat one to two bowls when you do. So, you know, I don't think your total intake is going to be that bad for rich food. And then boil for about five more minutes when you've added the suet and bacon grease and then you add two pounds of hamburger and cook about 15 minutes. Then you mix the spices together in a bowl and then you add them and cook five more minutes and then you add two cups of boiling water and half a cup of flour mixed with water to a paste and to thicken it. Um, now the spices you add are mixed together, one teaspoon ground cumin, a heaping teaspoon of oregano, a tiny pinch of bay leaves, a teaspoon of marjoram, a level teaspoon of black pepper, a full tablespoon of salt, and three heaping tablespoons of a good quality chili powder. And then you add two cups of boiling water, and then you add your flour paste mixture to thicken it. My advice would be to temper it a little bit. Take some of the hot liquid out of your chili and put it in with your uh, uh, flour paste. Uh, don't make it too thick and then slowly add it and stirring it. You don't want it to clump up or anything like that or it's terrible. Then you basically simmer it for about 25 minutes. Uh, and then it's made without beans, but uh, I've always added about uh, two cans of, of small red beans to it at the end. And uh, I'm, I'm always sure to rinse them off. If you, I think if you rinse that stuff off of them before you add them, that's a lot better flavor. Or if you use the chili beans with chili gravy, that kind of changes the, the taste of the chili, as this recipe as well. So I just prefer to add the plain beans that have been rinsed off. I hope you enjoy it.